this tutorial I want to talk about one of the other analysis options that you have inside Premiere Pro which is actually an extremely powerful option in that it allows you to create text from speech. So I've got a clip in my timeline which this puppet is talking and the puppet says lots of bits and pieces in English and I want to analyze its speech. So there's a couple of ways of starting this off. One is that you can go to the metadata panel and then twirl up all the bits and pieces that might be there until you've got the one that says speech analysis and open that up and then click on the actual clip in the project panel and you've got an analyze button at the bottom and it's going to open media encoder and analyze it in media encoder and then in this panel produce a text version of what's said that's going to be frame perfect from where the individual words are spoken however it doesn't always get it right let's just say that another way of doing it is to right click on the clip and go to analyze content that's the way I'm going to do it however the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the clip to actually open it up here in the source monitor because when I say it's frame perfect it's frame perfect on the basis of where you see that in the source monitor not down here in the timeline anyway so I'm going to right click on the clip and go to analyze content I don't need to do face detection we've done that in a previous tutorial we can go to speech now language is important this is done in English UK and I've got the English UK options here but when you first get this you'll probably only have English US available if you need to get a different kind of speech module then you need to go to the Adobe website and do a search so let me just open up the website if you go to the Adobe website and you search speech analysis module you'll come to this page and then you need to download the appropriate language module for the appropriate version of Premiere Pro because you'll find that they don't work across versions so for instance here are the CS6 ones and you can see I've downloaded the international English one for CS6 that's for Windows and also there's Mac and then you go down and you'll find the CS5.5 modules and then you'll find the CS5 modules you'll even find the CS4 modules so depending on what version of Premiere Pro you have you need to go and find the appropriate module on the Adobe website so adobe.com you can see the actual tagline up here you can see where it is and then go and download it it is an executable file so that you need to double click to open it and it will need to unzip it somewhere and then it will install it and then you'll have the module applied so that when you go to this option you actually have the appropriate language that you need to work with and obviously if you do work in multiple languages you can download multiple versions so I'm going to click English UK and obviously below it we have quality and we've got high and medium I'm gonna go with high because the speech is actually pretty quick in this little uh, piece that the the puppets talking so we can go for a higher quality it's gonna be more accurate but even so I'm not expecting it to be highly accurate if you want it to be highly accurate what you need is to embed an Adobe story script now the thing is it does need to be an Adobe story script you can't actually do this otherwise I'm just gonna cancel for a moment and if you right click underneath analyze content you see you've got attach script file and when it goes to attach script file look what it's looking for it's looking for an Adobe story script or dot ASTX file so that's the file type it needs you can't just give it an ordinary text document there's no other options here it's looking for an Adobe story script so if you don't have Adobe story you're not going to be able to add a script so I'm just going to go back to speech, turn off face detection, make sure it's English. Okay. So we're now ready to go. It would be an awful lot more accurate if I had a script. If I knew exactly what this puppet was going to say and I could put the script in, then it will go through the script and then absolutely lock on to the words that are spoken and make a very accurate end result. But we can't do that because I haven't got Adobe Story on this machine. The other thing is you can choose to identify speakers. So if there is more than one person speaking in the clip, you can ask this analyze content to identify different speakers but we've only got one speaker so I click OK and it's going to take it to media encoder you'll see it's here and it's already started encoding it and I shall pause it and come back after the encoding's taken place and actually for this particular script that was a pretty short encoding process it's almost finished now and then when it's done we can go back to Premiere Pro and then go back to the metadata panel 
And if you haven't got the metadata panel available, remember it's under Windows. All panels are under Windows. You can always find them if you can't find it. And then it's got what he thinks the speaker says. This stop the trend away from the of the era of the war is a defining this so frightened of like a teacher I trust that he meant to do. In other words, it's not got it at all right. So if you actually need to make changes at this level, you can actually double click a word and you can go in and you can edit it and you can add multiple words or single words. Just go in and change them. You can right click and choose to copy all if it has done a good job and actually go in there and copy it all and paste that to a text file that you can then use for titles, for closed captions, whatever you need to do, or you can copy and move individual words. Notice you can merge with a previous word, merge with next word, delete words, insert words. So you can go through and make the whole thing work out. If I want to go to a particular word, I can just double click on it here, and then if I go to the source monitor, you'll see that the current time indicator has moved to that place. Close by. Oh. Young people can be so cruel. Young people can be so cruel. Let's see uh, what people to do for all. So that's obviously what cruel is. But people, click on that. Go to this point, and it should say people. People can be. There you go. It got people. So it hasn't got an awful lot because of the speed that it's spoken and the funny accent that it used. But you can see that you can get in there, and with a right click, you can do all kinds of options to edit it and make it correct. Slower spoken words in a clearer accent are going to be far more easily analysed than fast speaking words in a silly accent. This was just a demonstration to show you that it can do it, but it doesn't always get it right. However, if I had been able to add an Adobe Story script, it would have nailed it far, far better than it has here. So let's just do one more. This is uh, another piece of footage which has got some speaking in the background. It's actually the, uh, the director speaking in the background. But let's just see how well this analyzes it when the English is perhaps a little bit more normal. Ignore the color corrections issue. I've dealt with that elsewhere. So I right click on it. I go up to analyze content. I don't have a script to add. I make sure it is in English. And then I'm going to go for higher quality and I'm going to click OK. And it's going to open up Media Encoder again and analyze it in the background. And once it's analyzed it, we'll come back and see how well it's done. Okay, so that's well on the way. It's only a relatively short clip, and we're finished. We're going to have a little look and see how it's done. So we can go to the metadata panel over here, and we can see, okay, and closer, 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 closer. Look at so it can only look away spot on, spots on. Okay, well, let's just have a little listen to what the guy actually said. So closer, 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 look. That's it, and then you look away, spot on. So it's not actually very far away in this particular instance. So if it's not quite right, so for instance, we can click in the word, and as we showed before, double click. We know that he says, for instance, spot on at the end, but also we can right click and we can do all the other bits and pieces, insert words, etc. So normal English it's going to cope with, but if you throw anything at it that's not normal, you can clearly see you're going to have problems. So we've looked at face detection and we've looked at analysing speech. Both of these are powerful options in Premiere Pro, making it a fantastic tool for editors, meaning that you don't have to go outside to try and find all these bits and pieces. They're already included in the programme, just as long as you know they're there.